Welcome to week 10, day one of our Bible trivia and Bible study. We are going to start out this week with Samson. There are a couple of stories about Samson that we're familiar with, and so I thought we would start today with the very beginning of Samson's story. Samson's mother had not been able to have children. When she did get pregnant, who came to tell her she was pregnant and give her instructions on raising her son? We all wish we'd had instructions, don't we? But actually, someone came and visited Samson's mother to tell her she was pregnant and to give her instructions on raising her son. Who was it? A, a friend of the family. B, a priest. C, God's messenger or an angel. D, her husband told her. Samson's mother had not been able to have children. Who came to tell her she was pregnant and give her instructions on raising her son? A, a family, a friend of the family. B, a priest. C, God's messenger or an angel. D, her husband told her. The correct answer is C, God's messenger. An angel came to Samson's mother and told her she was pregnant and gave her instructions on raising her son. Samson was not to drink wine or eat anything ritually unclean. So question number two is, what was the other thing he was forbidden to do? Samson was not to drink wine or eat anything ritually unclean. What was the other thing he was forbidden to do? A, cut his hair. B, eat meat. C, eat grain. Or D, dress in linen garments. Samson was not to, was not to drink wine or eat anything ritually unclean. What was the other thing he was forbidden to do? A, cut his hair. B, eat meat. C, eat grain, or D, dress in linen garments? The correct answer is A, he was forbidden to cut his hair. Question number three, after God's messenger told Samson's parents what was to take place, how did the messenger leave them? After God's messenger told Samson's parents what was to take place, how did the messenger leave them? leave them. A, he walked away. B, he was carried away in a chariot. C, some men came to get the messenger. Or D, as they built an altar for a burnt offering, the messenger went up in the sky in a flame. After God's messenger told Samson's parents what was to take place, how did the messenger leave them? A, he walked away. B, he was carried away in a chariot. C, some men came to get the messenger. Or D, as the parents built an altar for a burnt offering, the messenger went up in the sky in a flame. The correct answer is D. They built an, offering, uh, an altar for a burnt offering of thanksgiving, and when they did that and the flames started up, the messenger went up in the sky in a flame. That was an interesting way for him to leave, wasn't it? Question number four. What was the question to Samson's riddle? Out of the eater there came something to eat. Out of the strong there came something sweet. Samson had a riddle that he gave to some folks. What was the answer to this riddle? Out of the eater there came something to eat. Out of the strong there came something sweet. A, there was no answer. B, honey which came from a beehive built in the skeleton of a lion which Samson had killed. C, a young goat. Or D, a strong rope. What was the answer to Samson's riddle? Out of the eater came something to eat. Out of the strong there came something sweet. A, there was no answer. 
B, honey which came from a beehive built in the skeleton of a lion which Samson had killed. C, a young goat. Or D, a strong rope. The correct answer is B, honey, which came from a beehive built in the skeleton of a lion, which Samson had killed. Samson had killed this lion with his bare hands, and then when he walked past by the skeleton, bees had built a beehive in there, and he stopped and got some of the honey. Question number five. Who told the Philistines the answer to that riddle? Who told the Philistines the answer to the riddle? A, a priest, B, a family friend, C, Samson's first wife, or D, a general in the army. Who told the Philistines the answer to that riddle? A, a priest, B, a family friend, C, Samson's first wife, or D, a general in the army. The answer to the question is C, Samson's first wife. Samson's first wife um, needled him until he finally gave in and gave her the answer. And so she told the Philistines what the answer to the riddle was. Our scripture reference today is Judges 13 and 14. Judges 13 and 14. I mean, we know some of Samson's story, but I hope you'll read his whole story again over the next couple of days. Samson's parents knew from the very beginning that Samson would begin the rescue of the Israelites from the Philistines. It is a very interesting story, and I hope you'll enjoy reading it.